everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for tuning back in with me hello everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you guys so much for tuning back in with me today so as you guys know today is the first episode of thoughtful thursday and as i forementioned before i am going to document my internship i'm going to document my internship in Washington DC. I am super excited for you guys to go along on this journey with me. So, like I said in the tag video about um, As Told By Her, we are about way more than just hair and beauty, all right? And we are out here trying to help these girls graduate, <laughs> become more educated, more aware of themselves and the things around them, okay? So we not only wanna help you guys externally but internally as well so like i said enough about that um i'm, I'm gonna take you guys along on this journey with me to washington dc so yes you guys got it right as told by her is going to dc so i hope you guys stay tuned for this journey with me i'm super excited so just a quick rundown about my internship i will be interning at the usda i will be um taking six hours at American University. So this is my second internship. Um, this is by far the furthest I've been on an internship. So before we completely get started with what I wanted to discuss here today, I know some of you guys may be um, a little disappointed that I had no hair video. So let me give you guys the rundown on that really quick. So this is what my hair currently looks like. Super cute, I love it, okay? So this is what happened. I filmed it, all five hours of it it got deleted and I almost cried because I didn't have anything for you guys. But Monday, I'm coming back just for you guys. But back to what we're talking about, okay? So getting prepared for my internship, I actually fly out tomorrow. Well, it will be today when you guys actually see this video. Um, like I said, I wanted to document this journey and I want you guys to be there with me every step of the way. Um, the main purpose for me to document my internship is I wanted to give women and girls something new to think about, something different to possibly aspire to. I know there may not be many videos out there about young women, especially women of color, just out there going on internships, um, especially um, especially to Washington, D.C. Um, I'm from Oklahoma, so that's somewhat of a far stretch for me, myself, okay? So that's not something that, you know, we normally do or that we may even think to do. So I wanted to get us outside of that box. You can't be something you can't see. So if you've never been to DC, here's your chance. You're going with me, okay? So I'm gonna be here to tell you guys everything there is to know, possibly about an internship. Um, the do's and the don'ts, what to wear, what not to wear, your hair, how to style it. I'm gonna share with you guys my natural hairstyles that I'm gonna wear on this internship, my, my outfits, my everything, my experiences, the places I go, the things I do, the things I've learned. I want to be here for you, show you something new, teach you something maybe you've never known. And, and, and I can promise you, it's going to be worth your time. So, before you go anywhere, what do you have to do? Pack. So, what did I do? I packed this morning. So, this video is primarily about us discussing what we should and shouldn't wear on our internship. So I'm gonna share with you guys some of the pieces that I have decided to take and how I choose what is and what isn't appropriate for my internship. I had to keep in mind what the primary focus is for my internship, and that is school and work. Uh, that's what's most important. So majority of my clothing is business professional for my internship, okay? so. I'm going to show you guys some of those pieces that I have. All right, so going back to what I said previously, how do you know what to wear and what not to wear? I feel like that is a struggle sometimes, especially for women. Sometimes we straddle the fence with what is appropriate and what is not appropriate. Okay, so here is my rule of thumb. If you wear it to the club, you probably shouldn't wear it to work. If you wear it to church, then you can probably wear it to work. All right, another rule that I like to go by when I'm fishing for my business wear is what message am I trying to get across? When I walk into the office, what do I want people to think about me? Do I want them to think, oh, she bad? Or, wow, well, isn't she a breath of fresh air? I wonder what she has to offer. 
see where I'm going. See where I'm two different ends, okay? Um, sometimes I think, especially with my generation, that we get these things, things confused. You can be fashionable and professional all in the same breath, okay? Um, another rule that I like to go by is that people should not pay more attention to your physical appearance than they do your mental capacity. Let me emphasize what I mean on that exactly. We all need to know exactly what we were blessed with physically. I myself, I myself am more curvy in some areas than I am in others. So that means that when I do go into a professional setting, I like to wear looser clothes on certain parts of my body than other parts of my body because I do not want to draw attention to myself. No, I'm not saying wear turtlenecks and skirts down to your ankles every day. But there's no reason why you should go in there with the tightest mini skirt you can find. Here comes the fun part. So I'm going to share with you guys a little bit of what I picked out, picked out for my internship wear. And I do plan on doing a little lookbook and taking pictures every day of my outfits and my internship to show you guys when it's all said and done. So here we go. So just so you guys are aware, I probably own every black skirt there is. That is pretty much all I have. Because black is versatile, you could probably wear the same black skirt and a different shirt every day and no one wouldn't know it was the same black skirt. Anyways, here we go. I wear a lot of black pencil skirts because I believe that pencil skirts are very professional and they're very slimming. And I do prefer high-waisted black pencil skirts. Um, I think it is important to always have a pair of nice black slacks because they're very versatile as well. You can wear black with anything. And I'm pretty sure that's another reason why I have so much black. This is probably one of my favorite skirts. Um, it actually has a bow in the back. I think it's so cute. I'm so excited to wear it. Um, I really like this black skirt as well. It is high-waisted because it has buttons on it. Y'all, I love black and I'm sorry. Um, it does zip in the back, so it squeezes you in too, nice and tight. And then this black skirt, it has nice accented gold zippers on it. And um, another reason why I really like black, listen, I have about 30 reasons that justify why I only have black skirts. So I'm ready for y'all who, who talk about all my black. There's reasons. <laughs> I learned this in a communication class. Black and navy display confidence these colors also demand respect when you walk in a room. And um, these are actually some high-waisted gray, switching it up on y'all. Gray, um, and then this is going to be the last black skirt I show y'all. <laughs> this is my favorite black skirt. Y'all, look, look at this. But one thing about a pencil skirt is they look really bland on the hanger. They do. But when you put it on, a pencil skirt will transform you and your figure. Okay, if you have some pudgy areas that you're not feeling, you better get you a pencil skirt. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. When I'm not feeling myself, I get a pencil skirt. I'm trying to tell you. Here's another pencil skirt I have. This one is also textured as well. Um, so those are all the skirts I'm going to show you guys. I'm gonna okay, so next I'm going to show you some of the shirts that I'm going to take. I just love these shirts. It's a blouse, I guess I should say. I really like this. And then um, it zips in the back. I have a nice little black v-neck. And it's one of those high-low shirts. Gold and black beaded side, I guess, right here. I have this shirt in three colors. This is just a button-up shirt. It's sheer, so I really like this shirt. It is kind of fitted. And then... Um, and I have this shirt as well. This is one of my favorites. It is a collared shirt. And it does button up top here. Okay, so that's all that I'm going to show you guys on the blouses for now. And then I did pack a few dresses because you just never know what's going to happen. Um, I do like these like little baby doll dresses. I do have this. Same concept. <laughs> but this one has pockets. I absolutely love this boss. As you can see, a lot of the things that I showed you were not revealing. Um, they were not very short. They're not revealing or anything like that. So that's something you should definitely keep in mind. Um, now, the fun part. I'm going to show you guys my shoes. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and take two pairs of heels. So I've decided to take these. 
<laughs> because they're black and they're interchangeable. They can go with just about anything. I thought it would be a good idea to take a nude shoe um, simply because just to have more than one color available. Struggling. Okay, so here we go. Here's our flats. I probably have more flats than I do clothes, but it's all right. So I will be taking these flats. As you guys can see, they are black and gray. I have these. I'm really into the pointed toe flats. And these have a little, like, they resemble snake skin in the back. <laughs> Definitely not. But. And then these are, like, my new favorite flats because they're gold and black. I have this standard black flat. Y'all know when y'all done being cute and you need relief. Yeah. And lastly, these. These are my babies. These are so cute. I just love them because they have a bow and they're black. Anyways. Okay, so that's pretty much my flats. Um, my whole rule of thumb, I guess, with flats or shoes for internships is I had to keep in mind what I was going for. Um, flats were the most suitable for where I'm going to be at and what I'm going to be doing. Um, as far as my fashion advice or sense about that is I really like the pointed toe look right now just because, like I said, they remind me of heels, but they're not. And <laughs> you wouldn't really know unless you... You wouldn't really know unless you just seen the bottom of my foot. And to me, they look more businessy. I just made that up. So, I don't know. That's my personal take on it. And just in case you guys actually like what I wear, I can admit, I'm going to take pictures so you guys can see. It looks really good on. And I get most of my business wear and things like that at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. Anywhere there's a sale. Pretty good. Listen, we about to have another heart to heart. We had our first one when I had my natural hair meltdown. About to have another one. Rarely do I buy anything full price, okay? There's the options. You just have to look and you have to be willing to look, okay? I'll be the first to tell you. I don't mind going where I see a sale or a red sticker. Shit. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some of my casual wear. No, so standard jean shorts. I have about three pairs just so I can mix and match. Um, no big deal. Something really easy and smooth. Um, it is a button up romper right here. So cute. I love the print. Romper number two. So here's the front. And then I have a few light um, t shirts. Just nice casual tops that I could wear walking around. Very. You will see that I love dresses. And I'm really on this new kick of these sheer dresses that have little slit slips under them. Um, I don't know what they're called, but, but here's the other one. This is probably my favorite one. This is just one of my summer dresses. Peep the pocket in the corner. <laughs> and then this is just a nice little fitted dress just in case. I do go out. Um, I also do have a few pair of casual shorts, little dressier shorts. I did pack two pairs of really good jeans because, I mean, it is summer, so I don't expect to be wearing jeans, but you never know it might rain or a chilly night. Then I made sure to pack some really nicer jeans, so black. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, if you ain't got black, you need to get it. As far as jacket goes, I tried to make sure I had like one cover up, even for my summer dresses, just in case I do need to be more covered up or slightly chilly or anything like that. And something you want to keep in mind is it may be cold in your workplace. So I have a white and a black cardigan. One more summer dress that I love. Um, I tried to stay away from packing things like a lot of t-shirts. You never know what opportunities will present themselves, where you're going to go, what you might do, who you may meet. So even though you're going to just look at monuments, you don't want to just have on just anything, okay? You're on an internship. These are opportunities of a lifetime. You do not know what's going to happen. So Okay, so for now, I think that's enough. I showed you guys part of my plethora of clothing <laughs> that I have and that I'm going to take on my internship. I didn't show you guys everything because that would take forever but I just wanted to give you guys and a little bit of advice on how you should possibly pack for your internship as far as clothing goes together um, but I hope you guys enjoy I'm so excited I fly out tomorrow or today 
Well, I feel like I have tomorrow, but you're going to see it today. So, um, today. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. And I hope you guys stay posted for this journey with me. Every Thursday on Thoughtful Thursday. So, like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see y'all later. Bye.